everyone, it's PussyAdaptiveGames.com here, and a few days ago, BuzzFeed Unsolved Season 3 of True Crime just wrapped up, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to Shane and Ryan and Brent um, for creating the series and the people at BuzzFeed who write it, who conceived it, and all of that stuff for making it a thing. It's been such an amazing, amazing thing in my life, and it's taught me about some of the greatest unsolved cases of all time, and it's just so fantastic and it's definitely really sparked um, one of my hyper focuses which is on murder great thing to have um but it's definitely sparked a lot of unsolved murders for me to go into and i've learned a lot more about murder which is a really weird thing to say but it's actually really good and positive um for me to learn about these cases uh, my mom always suspected that i'd be very into unsolved mysteries because i in the i guess in the womb grew up on watching court tv because that's a normal thing to do with your baby, is to watch court TV. Um, and I was watching cases happen live in court, which is, court is not, as, it is not the super interesting part to me. The interesting part is the murder part, where people, um, and not knowing who it is, like especially when you don't know who the victim is, like the Somerton Man and the Boy in the Box, which are both Pussy Unsolved episodes. Like, we don't know who those people are. And that is kind of, frightening to me but also fascinating that we don't know there are humans on this planet that we don't know we have no idea who they are and they were murdered and we don't know who they are and one of them had like a bit of one of the most rare books in the world in their pocket which is only a select few people have even seen it and we don't know who that person is we don't know who the sovereign man is and that's crazy as well as there are so many murders in the world that we have no idea who did it. We don't know who the Zodiac Killer is. We don't know who the Axe Man is. And that's crazy to me and so, so fascinating to me that a human being can get away with something like that. They can take another human life or several other human lives and no one knows they did it. And like, those people can still be alive right now, wandering the streets and they killed someone, but no one knows that. And that must be really interesting on your conscience as well as just such a fascinating concept to think about, and BuzzFeed Unsolved has been such a great way for me to learn about it. And it's funny, Shane and Ryan, um, as um, hosts of the series, have amazing host chemistry. It's, um, when they interact, it's good, it's funny. Every single time they speak, it's just amazing and perfect. I, wait, by the way, um, where's that merch? I saw. I saw Ryan's brother wearing the merch. Where is it? I really want a Wheeze hat. And those of you who haven't watched Buzzfeed Unsolved have no idea what I'm talking about, but Wheeze. And I need merch of it really badly. And maybe it won't come out by the time this video goes up, and I'll, this will be completely wrong. But still, I need that merch so bad because Buzzfeed Unsolved is one of my favorite things on this planet. It's one of those videos, those like series, which I'm sure you guys have as well, that you just drop everything to watch. Doing some, doing coding. Well, too bad, new BuzzFeed Unsolved video. Gotta watch it. Doing, I don't know what else I would be really doing. Art, doing art um, or homework of any other kind. Well, art isn't homework, but doing homework or art or any or gaming or anything. Too bad, new postmortem drop. Gotta go watch it immediately right now. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to Shane and Ryan for three seasons of true crime. And that I'm very excited for the new Supernatural season coming out soon. BuzzFeed is all, oh, also, um, I've just been talking about the true crime aspect because uh, true crime season three just wrapped up. There's also a supernatural side where they go to supposedly haunted places and talk about the reasons that it's haunted, which also talks about a lot of murders, which is good. Um, and it's great. I love supernatural a lot. I am, I think I'm a supernatural stan more than a true crime stan, but I still love true crime so much. It's perfect. And I think I'm turning into a true crime stan. Um, and also, uh, the season finale of, um, True Crime was the murder of JFK, and they have the, I remember what it was called like three seconds ago, the actual film of JFK dying. Please, from speaking from experience, do not watch it really late at night. It, just don't watch it, period. It's um, very gruesome, you can see it. JFK looks kind of like a popcorn kernel. It's wild. And don't watch it if you're squeamish at all, because it even made me a little bit uncomfortable, and if you know me, I am like the least squeamish person on this planet just judging by the contents of this video where I talk about murder completely normally. Just not at all a squeamish person. Don't watch it if you are squeamish in any way, shape, or form. I remember
remember it, I remember it, I remember it, I remember it. Coming back, it's called the Zapruder film. The JFK death film. It's called the Zapruder film. Uh, and I should have told you this information so that you wouldn't look it up. But yeah, it's called the Zapruder film. Please do not watch it if you're squeamish in any way, shape, or form. Summary, uh, there, there's like a summary in the video of what happened. JFK died, that's all you need to know about it. And he looks like a popcorn kernel, which they didn't say, but he does, he looks like a popcorn kernel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. There'll be a link in the description to where you can check out BuzzFeed and Salt if you haven't watched it already. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Also, where did Brett go? Jane and Ryan, please tell me. Where is Bront? Where did he go? You can end the film now, by the way. Bye.